Hey Gamer Pro Runners, my name is Marsh Marty and welcome to part 12 of the C++ and SFL 2 platform tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to create an awesome gravity function for the player, so this way he's not going to be falling endlessly and spiraling out of control until it crashes and dies. So, first thing we want to do is we want to go into the player class, so scroll down into the player class, and right here after public, the, which is the reference type, which basically says who has access to this class. So in here, we're going to want to create a boolean, and we're going to call this boolean. So to, first, to declare a boolean, you have, you've got to type bool, which is the abbreviation for a boolean. And what a boolean is, is a true, false, or a none. So a one or a zero, and not a none, as in a monastery. First, we're going to set the variable name, and the variable name of this is going to be on ground. So we're going to set that as a capital G. So boolean on ground and in here we're going to give it a default and we're going to have the player by default falling through the air. So we're going to just type on ground equals and we're going to set this equal to false which just basically means he's not on the ground and if he's not on the ground he's going to be in the air. So we're going to, want to scroll down into the void collide and in here we're going to want to say if the y position change that x to a y and we're going to say if his y position is greater than let's say um, 500 pixels down that's not not 50 that's 500 if he's greater than 500 pixels down that's going to be the ground the imaginary ground for now so then if he is touching our imaginary ground we're not going to set the y velocity anything yet what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set on ground to true so this way it's going to say it is in fact on ground so it set on ground equals true and be sure that's with a little capital some languages is a big T, some languages is a little T, and with C++ it's a little T. And that line with a semicolon, and that basically ends the line. And now here inside void update, we're going to update it so what happens if the self the on ground is true. So we go if, and then to create an if statement, you say if, then you open up some parentheses, and inside the parentheses you run the test of what is if going to happen. So the test here is if on ground is equal to true so to do, that, to do an is equal to test which is an equality tester is two equals sign so if on ground is equal to true what is going to happen well open up some curly braces okay i think i deleted curly brace yeah there we go now give it a new line and then inside here we're going to want to now finally we are going to want to set the y velocity equal to zero I velocity equals zero. And the reason we don't just go, um, let's just plunk the y velocity equal to zero and on ground right here is because let's say if, what if like once it gets into more advanced animation functions, which we will be getting to eventually, is like, so let's say if he like sits, he hunkers down when he's on the ground. So there's gonna be a lot there that we're gonna take into account for it. So it's good to have that go back into the avoid update function. So if we hit compile and run, we should have a snail that has some ground whoops i hit f5 i'm so used to i'm kind of used to python where in python you hit f5 to run the python code but it's i'm i forget what's the shortcut for that all right so let's try and go down all right so that works and he he's stuck yeah yep he's stuck he's not going off that ground any at all well the reason that that is happening is because right here we've set the on ground to true but when the tr on ground is never going to set false ever again ever again because again, we only set it in the constructor, and the constructor will runs once as soon as the class is called. So now what we have to do is, what if he, let's say, the y position is not greater than that. So basically, we're going to cover everything else besides a fly on my head. Ugh, I had to itch that. I just had to. So else, so what the else does is it basically everything else after all these if statements. So you can have the else if statement, which is like this, which just means else. It means not this chunk of code, so it, it can't, the test cannot match up with this, but it has a condition to it. So the else is just basically anything after, anything that is not within this statement there. So anything that's not covered by that, we're going to set on ground to false for now. On ground is equal, going to be equal to false. So this way our snail's not going to be stuck infinitively on earth. We want the snail to fly. So we compile and run, and now if we have a should have a snail that can run up and down like a good snail should, but he's is stuck. So the reason that the snail can still not be jumping and 
running the long half like a good every good snail should is because we have to think first think what is this computer thinking the computer is saying all right so you've told me that if the y position is greater than 500 on ground is going to be true okay so if it's it's that's going to trigger it to being true if it's greater than 500 once it's true mr snail's not jumping or doing anything that has to do with up and down so then this else statement here is never going to come into play we can test this out by going c out which is basically just printing something on the screen and we're going to see out the on ground ver value and this will tell us for surely what our computer is thinking right now and that will semicolon compile and run and then we're going to see inside the mind of a computer all right so you can see it's a whole whack of zeros and what the zeros are is basically with c plus plus a zero means a false and a one means a positive so if we go down all right, you can see all that is changing back into ones now. That's kind of a cool effect, actually. But it's not ever changing back to a zero because the Mr. Snail can never get off the ground because he's told he's not allowed as long as it's true. So this is infinite loop that keeps going that is never being broken. Switch statement. So we are going to be covering switch statements into the next tutorial. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys have any questions or comments about this tutorial, I'd love to see that down in the comment section. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow when every tech news breaks. Marshmallow out.